coverage tonight of a deadly fire at an Appleton group home on Division Street near downtown. Today, police identify the victim as 24-year-old Milo Humfner of Green Bay. He was living at the halfway house. NBC 26's Eric Crest is live at 6. Latest information, Eric. Today, Appleton's investigation into what started the fire and how Humfner died is still underway, and Appleton police haven't ruled anything out just yet. Neighbors reacting to the commotion on their Appleton street. It's usually peaceful and quiet. With shock at what happened yesterday. I have no idea what's going on. I just, I woke up and that's why I was like, oh, what? You know, I'm surprised anything happened. Today we're finding out from police that Hubefer likely died in relation to the fire, but the investigation isn't closed yet. We have at least four people that were living in the residence, uh, overnight staff, other people that may have come and gone from there, so um, part of our task is to follow up with everyone. We're also learning the man brought to a local hospital for smoke inhalation was an employee of the group home. He was located during the second sweep of the house by firefighters. It was during that search that they found the 55-year-old who had uh, come into the uh, residence to look for people. And as far as the overwhelming presence of investigators on scene here yesterday, Appleton police say it's standard protocol to bring in police, the fire department, and the state fire marshal for any potential crime scene like this. The State Division of Criminal Investigation says their portion of the investigation is complete. Meanwhile, Appleton police are awaiting autopsy results to determine the cause of Humpner's death. Keeping you connected, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26.